Hey there everybody, I'm Carol Ritchie and it's time to cook. I'm here with my neighbor, Stephanie. She's such a delight. How are you today? I'm great, how are you? Good, I'm so happy to be cooking with you today. I'm happy to have you. You are an amazing baker, an amazing cook, and you know, every day for you must be just so much fun with your baking and cooking. a very good time in my kitchen. It's my favorite room in the house. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. And you're gonna make a special treat today. Yes, so my favorite thing in the world is pumpkin spice every day and today we're making some pumpkin spice coffee creamer um, which is just one of my all-time favorite things so it's all made in the blender everything goes in you just turn the blender on and you're good to go um, we get started right now sure okay. sure so first I'm gonna put my pumpkin in this is three-quarter cup of pumpkin I love and that measuring cup that's pretty brilliant I do love this it's yes. so easy Yes. And just pushes it out, and we'll use a spoon to just clean that off a little bit. And I'll help lick the spoon afterwards. No. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome to it if you want I to. I am a great helper. <laughs> and then this is just one can of sweetened condensed milk that I've already pre-opened. Love so it. So we'll pop the lid off and just pour that bad boy in. So many of my friends and colleagues and uh, viewers love that stuff. They can't oh, get enough. You put it in so bread pudding good. or whatever or banana pudding and mm -hmm. it's just so good, you know. Mm -hmm. We want to get every last drop. Oh, this is great. And the beauty is you can make this every day of the year. Yes. It doesn't have to be yes. around the fall time for You can for make this. fall be all year round, Ooh. which is what it is in our house because this is my favorite. Oh, I love it. I Here love it. We've got one and a half cups of half and half. You can use heavy whipping cream if that's your preference. I just like for it to be um, a little bit less thick because we've already got the pumpkin and the sweetened condensed milk in here. So it's my personal preference, but if you like heavy cream, go with the heavy cream. Okay. So we're just going to pour this in. It's so nice to know that you can make your own creamer like this. Yes, and it doesn't have all of the extra additives and preservatives that the store-bought creamers have. Those taste great, but I just, if you read the ingredient list, there's things on there you can't pronounce. Um, one of the last ingredients is always carrageenan, which supposedly has a link with cancer, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't want that in my body. So. Mm -hmm. Um, Making your own is a way to go. Safer. You can lift, you can name off everything that's in here. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. here I've got one teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, clove, and ginger. So we're just going to dump that in. Beautiful. Oh, it smells like holiday already. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some pure maple syrup. And uh, I think my recipe says a tablespoon of this. I don't really like to measure it. So we're just going to pour some in until it, I think mm -hmm. it looks good. The perfect yumminess. Mm -hmm. mm. And then every creamer recipe should have some vanilla bean paste in it. Has the best flavor. Uh, if you don't have this, you can always use vanilla extract, or even if you have like vanilla syrup in the pump kind, um, we can put that in there too. Still has great flavor. You still have the um, the vanilla bean flecks in it, but. And those are cute little uh, garnish too, the oh, pretty little flecks of the I vanilla. love that. So we're going to put a heaping teaspoon in there. Mm. And I like to get every little bit, so we're going to splish that around a little. <laughs> I have lots of spoons to lick today. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just going to put our lid on here. And just blend it for about 30 seconds or so. Oh. All right, I think we're good. Mm. And then, um, I I have bought store bought creamer before, so I save my containers because they really are the perfect containers to have your creamer in. Um, so that way it's all ready to go, it is. you know. It is. And you can also, I mean, you can see it because once you take the label off of these, they're clear. So you can literally just... And a lot of your friends would know, oh, well, that's a creamer. There you go. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Because that's the shape of the container they're looking for. Um, and it's just perfect. Fits in the door of the fridge. It's so nice to know that you can make something at home from scratch that's so easy like this and warm someone's heart bring them some cheer yes, it takes just minutes tastes delicious 
Oh, that's great. Well, we thank you so much for sharing this wonderful recipe. I can't wait to enjoy it with some coffee. And you have a little banana bread back there that you made for us. Sure so I'm so excited. We're going to have a little treat. Every day could be perfect for coffee. Look, it fits in there perfectly. It's just the right amount. Wow.